Welcome back to more Pokemon Silver. Silver is a chemical element with the symbol AG from the Latin Argentum, derived from the Greek shiny or white, and atomic number 47. A soft white lustrous transition metal. Okay, we don't care about the, all, all the facts about silver. All you need to know is that, in case you forgot, it says something different on the periodic table. It says AG. It does not say SL, SV, whatever. It just says AG. Don't question me about that. That's just how it was created. Okay, so, I think, now that we're... I actually have not recorded this in a while. Let's see, it's dark outside. Huh, even at 6 o'clock it's dark. Alright. Uh, I guess the next thing we're gonna do is finally take down that gym. Uh, let me look at my party real quick. I haven't looked at this in a while. Okay. Huh. I kind of want Daddy to get all the experience. We'll put her in front. Just like that. And we're just gonna go walk to the gym now. Pretty sure this is the next thing we gotta do. Alright. And we've got some trainers here. Should I save my game here? I'm gonna actually do that real quick. You never know. Things could go wrong and you... You might end up dying and you might need to reset. Well... You probably don't actually have to reset, you might as well keep the experience, but then lose the money from losing the fight. Let's just see. We don't know- I don't even know how tough these are gonna be. Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Okay, I'm pretty sure Faulkner is the guy who is the gym leader. Oh, wow. You have a mohawk. Bird keeper, Abe. Okay, Spiro. We haven't seen this one yet. Um, alright, okay, that's a high level, hmm, actually, yeah, well, we're not gonna be able to do this. Can we try to confuse you, perhaps? Let's see. Peck. Okay, good, the confusion works. I'm not gonna stay in, though. That is, that's gonna knock me out in, like, three hits, so. I, not many Pokemon to use here. We'd hope it hits itself. I could use my starter, but I'm only gonna use my starter in an emergency. I don't have to send it out right now. Especially since I need some of my Pokemon to get more experience here. Oh boy, that's good. Look at all that confusion damage. Still confused. And it got a hit off of me. Off onto me. Alright, well, that's alright. Pretty sure this should knock it out. <laughs> that critical hit probably didn't make a difference at all. It probably would have been a normal hit. It would have been okay. Pointless critical hits. Alright, when good RNG comes in at the wrong time... Oh, we got more trainers. The keyword is guess. Those here are training night and day to become bird masters. Or something. I can't read that. I think I skipped one of the lines there, but whatever. All you need to know is that this is a gym, and we are good and powerful trainers. Pretty powerful, actually, yeah. Level 7. 7. Yeah, Leech Life is not gonna do jack to this it's Pidgey, so I'm just gonna try to get up another confusion here. I could use a flying move myself, to be honest. Fortunately, Batty does not come with one. It just comes with Leech Life, which is not a good move at all. Alright. That he should level up after this, actually. That XP bar looks pretty full to me. The fusion did not help. At all. I'm being tackled. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna send out Jawsome. My starter is definitely gonna have to take this one out. I'll probably go back and heal after this. But I just need to share the experience to everyone here. Huh. Yeah, even... Even... Even Jawsome has a tough time taking out these Pokemon. Despite being very high-leveled. Go, Batty is level 8. Uh, more Pidgeys. Well, not. Well, I actually probably could have swapped out. Mm. 
Oh well. I kind of wanted to switch into another Pokemon that can get some more experience off of this. <laughs> that was a weak critical hit there. And then... There we go, two trainers down. And level 13. 13's a lucky number to some people, but unlucky to everyone else. Oh! Yes! That's a good move! Finally! We got some water! We got water gun. That's good. That's really good, actually. Alright, ooh, okay. You wanna... I probably wanna heal right now. Let's do that, actually. Okay, well... I'm gonna... I actually thought of something. I should probably do this just in case. How many berries do we have? We have three. We're gonna give... Give one to Batty. No, don't use. Don't use. Don't use. Give. And give. Self cure for confusion, huh? Alright. Well, alright. I just. I think only the healing berries are gonna be needed here. I'll save again. Just in case. Alright, Faulkner. Yep, you're Faulkner, I had a feeling. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. Well, I don't even have any electric types, but that's beside the point. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Oh, now we got to hear the, the gym leader music. Ooh. Leader Faulkner wants to battle. Oh, I'm ready. What level is this? Se okay, that's not bad. Seven. Uh, can we get off another confusion? Let's do it. Yes! Alright. I'm gonna go into Murr right now. Confuse again. Hurt itself again, that's good. Still confused. Hurt itself again! Oh! Uh oh. Does this thing ha- Does this guy have a healing item? Confuse no more, okay. Huh, no potion, wow. That's a little surprising. I thought for sure that these gym leaders would do healing items. Okay. Pidgeotto. Oh, we're gonna fight an evolution of something. Alright. I know. Evolution of Pidgey. I was about to say that this is the very first evolution of a Pokemon we're gonna be seeing, but I just realized that that's not true because we have Kakuna on our team. <sighs> that we still wanna... I still wanna evolve that. Alright. Will I switch? Yeah, I'm going to, actually. This might be a lot of experience depending on the level of this thing. Let's see. Nine. That thing's only level nine. Okay. I thought for sure this thing would be much higher than that. Okay. You know what? Let's give my starter a go at this one. I'm actually... I know for a fact that this thing is going to have much higher stats than Gust. Ah, uh, that's, uh... That's weak. Ooh, yes, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Water gun. Squirt the water! Oh, that's a good damage right there. Not, this might be three shots. That's one. Two. Looks like it could... Uh, I can't tell if it's gonna be a three. Huh, this... Doing fixed damage on me, I noticed. It's doing five each time. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. The faster the better. Oh, I'd buy a sliver! And that's gonna activate my berry, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, I kinda didn't wanna... I kinda wanted to defeat it before the berry gets activated, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Nope, we'll just scratch it. Scratch that. 
for the record. There we go. And Jawsome is awesome. And Kakuna is now level 8. And Faulkner is down. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. I got $900. Sent some to mom. So there it is, our first Pokemon badge. The Zephyr badge. Now I finally get to edit the left side of this video for once. Raises the attack power of Pokemon. What? It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it at any time. Here, take this too. Oh, what's this? TM31. It's her first TM. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once, and that's stupid to me. This is in the- by the- yeah, this was the old game, so it's not like they can change that now. Well, they already did. Generation 5. TMs are now multiple use. Multiple loose. <laughs> TM31 contains Mud Slap. That's a weak move. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it does damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. Okay. Well, thanks for the TM. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use this move, but I'll hold on to it. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello, Alex. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Violet City Pokemon Center. Oh, alright, that's very close by. Let's walk there now. Okay, I guess you're the guy, because you seem to be out of place. Alex, long time, no see. Professor, uh, Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Yes! Except I probably have to empty a space for that. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even know that the no prop says that, wow! Okay, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I like how it cuts off right there. Oh man, that's that's gold right there. Comedy AU. Alright, well we need to replace a Pokemon. I don't want to use this one. Alright. <laughs> so, about that egg. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny, not gonna lie. <coughs> Sorry, I... Yeah, my throat is getting actually rather dry right about now. Seems like I need to take a sip. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Alex, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. Sure. We'll just hold on to it. Okay, now... What's the next thing we gotta do? I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah! I, I, I just figured it out, actually. Um... Let's see here. That's not it. That's not it. This is it. Now, we have the power to use this move outside of, <laughs> ah, outside of battle. Goodness, alright. Now, the thing is, can we teach it to anyone? Uh... Only Clockwork is able to do this. Alright, well, that's gonna have to do then. Alright, well, Clockwork is actually being pretty helpful, uh, despite me not planning on using it for much. Especially later on. Maybe I'll evolve it and just, uh, hold it off for it, but who knows. Alright. Um, we got money. Let's buy more stuff. Where's the Pokemon? I forget where it is. It is not there. That's the gym. Is it down here? I think it's more like down, like, no it's not. Gosh, where did it go? Where is it? I, is there not, actually there may not be one here. Oh no, there it is. Okay. For a moment I thought we couldn't find it. Alright, let's buy some stuff here. We'll definitely need more of these. I'll buy seven. Anything else useful? Hmm. Really not, not actually useful right now. We, until I really have a need to buy them, because I haven't been using those 
healing items that the Pokemon sell sells a lot, except for an antidote once, but that just happens to be... I happen to use the antidote after finding one, so that, I don't know if that really counts. But now we can go to the dark cave and light it up. Light up for a world like nobody else. It's a fruit-bearing tree, and we get more berries, right? I wonder how, what the time on these trees are for when a berry grows back onto it. I should probably collect more berries while I'm at it. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm back here. I actually went down uh, to the south to get berries from trees that I pretty sure had berries back in the trees, and yeah, sure enough, all the ones I checked had berries in them. I also did that because, you know, the egg has to hatch, and I need walking distance, I would assume. I wonder... Huh, let me actually look at the status of this if I can. It moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Alright, if that... I don't know... Of the prompt changes for how much you, you walk. Oh, okay. Well, time to use an HM. How do we do this? I actually, let's see, I assume. There it is, okay. Blinding flash lights the area. The Hoot Hoot has headlights at, for eyes. Now we can actually see where we're going, alright. Huh, alright. It's not as scary when it's not dark. Okay, it kinda is, but with this music we've got. What is this music anyway? It's like, it's familiar. Oh, well, I guess this must be where it comes from. This game and, huh, we encountered something. That rock didn't seem to be part of the animation. That was weird. Must be a rock smash type of rock then. Or it could be the Geo dude. who knows? I'm just gonna knock it out. Uh, this should be... You know what? Let's knock it out with water. That seems to be- that's the best way to knock it out. Hey, G dude. Fear my Jawsome's water. You're gonna fear it. And down it goes. Alright. I mean, you thought Vine Whip was bad enough. We've got Water Gun now. Alright. But enough of that. How do we- Huh. Can you even do anything here? A Pokemon may be able to break it. Okay, that's all it's saying. So it is something that you can break. Do we... Are we supposed to be here? I don't see a, a way through, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. Nope, we encountered something. Okay, that was just a Geodude. Is there really nothing to do here? Alright. Looks like this is not the way to go. What? Okay. That's a little strange. Then where do we go? Huh. No, that's not where we go. Well, actually, I wonder. Can I just look at something? We did see this. Where, where can we find it? Area. Okay, all those areas we don't have access to. Noticing that there's an- there's a route that you can cut through that's like in between the first city and the second city. I'm calling them by that because I don't actually remember the names of those two cities. I wonder if that's a place to be. I'm not sure. If I miss that area, I'm gonna feel stupid for not noticing it at first. I missed out on a bunch of stuff there. Huh, but... Let me look at this map again. Supposedly you could go down from Violet City. Maybe I, I can. I don't know if I. And uh, this is something to encounter. Great. Okay, continuing it on. Still figuring out where to go, to be honest. Uh, so this is. There's no path. Uh, I am confused. There's actually no place that leads down from here. What the hell? Am I missing something here? Where do I go? I guess the only place I could think of right now is actually, uh... The area that I was just looking at on the map when I was looking for Firo. 
I mean, that that is a possibility, although I don't know how I would have missed that, like, two or three times. We, we, don't, we don't go this way. Why am I going that way? Okay, go the other way. That'd be better. I'm gonna head towards that route that I was actually just pointing at on the map. Maybe that's where I need to be. Or just, I need to figure out who to talk to. Oh, what's this? Good evening, it's me, Wade. Got a minute? How are you, how are your Pokemon doing? My Caterpie is really energetic, it's a handful. Oh yeah, I'm, I managed to beat a, a tough Rattata. I need to make my party stronger. See you later. So these phone calls just appear randomly, okay. That's interesting. I wonder if I need a call. I was just wondering that. Let me actually get this fly in my face. Are you serious right now? Why is there a fly in my face? Get out of here. I missed. Okay, well that didn't work. Here, here's the phone. You know what? I'll call you first. Hello, Alex? How's the egg? Has anything changed? If anything happens, please call. Alright, um, maybe we're just walking around, actually. That's kind of weird. Like, it looks like I'm supposed to go up there, but I have nothing... Actually, I can if I go this way. Hello, there's an area over here I didn't even notice. Alright, um... I don't know if I've been in here, actually. I've never been this way. Wow. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from- Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe I was here. I might, I might have lied. I actually might have been here. Hold on a minute. Route 46, Mountain Road Ahead. I may have been here, actually. I, I don't know. Well, since there's stuff to find, I didn't- uh, let's look around in this grass. Okay, never mind, it's a dead end. <laughs> okay, this is not where we need to be. Uh, but I can find a Geodude in the grass, apparently. Wow, alright. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can find here right now. I haven't found anything new or different, so... I actually legit think we just need to walk then. Oh, let's go back if that's the case. Maybe we'll hatch just somehow on the way back. Oh, oh, hello. I haven't... I missed an item, wow. Oh, it's hiding in the very top. This top area, I've missed completely, jeez. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Togepi came out of its egg. Finally. Alright. Ooh, Togepi. Alright, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> um. I'm just gonna name it Xander. I think that seems like a good name for it. Alright. Okay, Professor Alm, I walked for like a mile. You look great. Oh, thank you for complimenting me after I sweat all that muscle energy out of me for that mile I walked. <laughs> what? That Pokemon that- the egg hatch, so Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Alex, you're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of our appreciation. I got an Everstone. Alright, that's not gonna help at all, though, because I know what it does, and it's probably something I'll never use. That's an Everstone. Some species of Pokemon evolve when they grow certain levels. A Pokemon holding the Everstone won't evolve. Give it to a Pokemon you don't want to evolve, and they won't evolve. Is that it? Oh. Okay. That's... Okay, then that's not what you... Alright, well, that's... I'm gonna actually cut the episode here. I think that's all we're gonna have time for right now. Uh, next time on Pokemon Silver, I'll figure out what to do.
I'm still wondering where the next city is. I thought for sure it'd be up. I'll look at this map next episode. I'll save for now, though. Does it already save file? Yeah, sure. Save over it. Saving, do not turn off the power. Why is it all- why is that on all caps, anyway? Oh well. Alright, see you in the next episode.